Everyone connects to their favorite apps on a mobile device or by using a web interface. But did you know that in order to have an internet connected or IoT app that works, there are many layers of software that have to be developed besides just what you see on your screens? Well, here are those layers, and here's what they do. The top user interface layer is the one you see and interact with the most. It's totally important because it's how you talk with your app and how it learns to make you happy. The second layer is client platforms. IoT software has to interact intuitively with one or more of these platforms all at once. The third communication layer enables data to get from the platform to servers. Servers, the fourth layer, collect and analyze your data. Finally, the databases layer, also in the cloud, is where servers send data to be stored in its final form for sharing with others and revisiting whenever you like. Here's the deal. In order to create IoT software that works, you need to write all the layers at the same time to make sure they all talk to each other the right way. Even if only one of the layers is missing or is coded incorrectly, your entire software solution won't work. Your software team has to make sure this doesn't happen to your IoT solution, and here's how. While traditional software firms usually specialize in either the front end or the back end, each software designer should understand how to develop for the entire stack. Here's why this is really important. When you use the traditional horizontal model, layers are completed from the top in order, usually one at a time. But discovering a bug means you have to go back and revise all the work that was already completed. And if you're integrating the solution with work from two suppliers, let's say a front end developed by company one and the back end by company two, Coordinating the integration from two locations can cost you even more time and more money. Instead, there is a big advantage to be had from developing IoT solutions using the vertical slice model. First, when you develop a vertical slice, you're creating a fully functional piece of your application much faster and getting it to market sooner. Early on, your customers can already use your app and start falling in love with it. You can also respond to more and more user feedback as you add vertical slices, making your app and your brand loved by your customers well into the future. Want to learn more?